Hello, welcome to the Mark Janad Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about Dark Bert, Dark Dark Bot. It's basically AI meets dark web. Wow, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So the developer behind the fraud GPT malicious chatbot is readying even more sophisticated adversarial tools based on a generative AI and Google's BARD technology, one of which will leverage a large language model, the LLM, that uses as its knowledge base the entirety of the dark web itself. An ethical hacker who already had discovered another AI-based hacker tool, Worm GPT tipped off the researchers that the fraud GPT inventor known as Hacker Forms as Canadian Kingpin 12 has more AI based malicious chatbots in the works, according to Slash Next. Uh, the forthcoming bots, Dark Bart or Dark Bert, will arm threat actors with GPT. ChatGPT like AI capabilities that go much further than existing cyber criminal gen AI offerings, according to Slash Next. In a blog post published on August 1st, the firm warned that the AIs will potentially lower the barrier of entry for would-be cyber criminals to develop sophisticated business email compromise phishing campaigns, find and exploit zero-day vulnerabilities, probe for critical infrastructure weaknesses, create and distribute malware, and much, much more. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. The rapid progression from work from Worm GPT, sorry, to Fraud GPT and now Dark Bert in an under a month underscores the significant influence of malicious AI on the cybersecurity and cybercrime landscape. Slash next researcher Daniel Kelly, uh, you know, brought this to the attention of the masses, right? Dark Bart and Dark Bert, a new AI generation. In terms of functionality, Dark Bart will be a dark version of the Google Bart AI, and the hacker said it will be based on a large language model, the LLM, uh, known as Dark Bert, which was created by South Korean data intelligence firm S2W with the goal of actually fighting cybercrime. It's currently limited to academic researchers, which would be malicious access to it notable. The threat actor claims to have gained access to Dark Bert, uh, Kelly said, adding that when contacted via Telegram, Canadian Kingpin 12 shared a video demonstrating that his version of Dark Bert underwent specialized training on a vast corpus of texts from the dark web, Kelly wrote. The malicious developer also claims his new bot can be integrated with Google Lens, Kelly added. Here's a statement. This integration enables the ability to send text accompanied by images. That's notable given that so far, ChatGPT-like offerings have been text only. The second adversarial tool, confusingly also named Dark Bert, but wholly separated from the Korean AI, will go even further by using the entire dark web as its LLM, giving threat actors access to the hive mind of the hacker underground for carrying out cyber threats. It will also have Google Lens integration, Canadian Kingpin 12 claims. So let's uh, do a little touch base about the rapidly ev evolving dark web generative ai so kelly noted uh, that the developers of adversarial ai tools like their more benevolent counterparts likely will soon offer application programming interface api access to the chatbots which will allow for more seamless integration into cyber criminals workflows and code and lower the barriers to entry for cyber crime game right uh here's a statement such progress raises significant concerns about potential consequences as the use cases for this type of technology will likely become increasingly intricate kelly wrote this rapid progression also means that defense against the threats will require a proactive approach in addition to typical training provided to enterprise employees to identify phishing attacks Organizations also should provide BEC specific training to educate employees on the nature of these attacks and the role of AI, the researchers said. So please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate viewership and see you on the next video.